Dan. And I'm Landon. And we're here to read and discuss the Bible. And today we're starting in John chapter 9. And we're reading in the New King James. Now we'll have some links down in the description yeah. of the video for the New King James and the King James, several different versions of the Bible. And some links to our church and some videos that you may want to look at. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to break up John chapter 9 into two parts. Yep. So today we're going to verse 21. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, we suggest that you subscribe to our channel at the top. Up there. And leave a thumbs up down there at the bottom. Well, what does this have to do with, what does that have to do with, <laughs> Make a with comment. watching the last videos? Well, if you subscribe, then you can go to um, our channel. You can go to our channel anyway. Well, we would like you to subscribe and then go to our at channel. At the top, thumbs yeah. up. At the bottom, right yes. there. You sure? Yep. It's windy out here today. It is. We're out on right the back there. porch. You yep. can see the trees behind us. They're moving. They're, yes, it's windy. You may hear things windy and around. I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, <laughs> let's start. We want to go 20 minutes talking about us. Anyway, we're in chapter 9. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Uh -huh. So it was, I guess, in Jesus' day, it was a common occurrence that if you sinned or your parents sinned, well, the Bible does say, the sins of the father is passed down to three generations. Mm -hmm. um, so the sins of the father would be passed down. And because the sin, the father had sinned, or perhaps the child had sinned, or the man had sinned, he was blind. But it does say that he was blind from birth. So why he would be blind from birth because the child had sinned. Because he had sinned. Be, yeah, may, maybe because the parents had sinned. But Jesus was pretty quick to answer. Um, Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. Now, that's a very interesting uh, little verse there. Yeah. Because he, in, in my notes, it talks about what he was talking about was soon he would be crucified. Mm -hmm. So the, the night talks about you know, if you have no electricity, um, I know I work in a, in a computer shop, and if I didn't have electricity at night, I couldn't see. Right. You know, so if you were going to do any work, you would have to do it in the day. And so a lot of times they would get up early in the day, early in the morning, and they would, you know, get off earlier in the afternoon because they put in their 9, 10, 12 hours, or however long they worked. So he was saying that basically he needed to do works while he was still there. While he was able to do works, because soon he would be crucified, and then, of course, he couldn't do any works. Right. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with his saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. So he, he uh, the, the blind man was there. Now, there was other times where Jesus asked the man if they want to be healed. But this time, he just, he didn't, it doesn't say that he said anything to the man. He just went down and spit into the dirt. Yeah. And put it on his eyes. And he said to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated scent. So there must have been um, a pool there that everyone knew, especially the man in that town. And he went and washed and came back seeing. So there was a miracle right there. Yeah. So what could be the problem, Landon? Well, what the could be the problem? The Pharisees will find a problem with anything. Well, we'll see what the problem is because you know you would think that healing a man's eyes from blind from birth, they even the Pharisees would say, "Wow, this is a that miracle! Was good. It was good. Everyone else could see that it was good." Yeah. But let's read on. Let's see if the Pharisees thought it was good. What do you think? No. Therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, Is this not he who sat and begged? 
See, back then, if you couldn't make any money, I mean, the only way you could make money is work. Well, if you couldn't work because you were blind, I mean, they didn't have any Braille. They didn't have anything you could do but sit there at the gate. So they would sit you at the gate and you would beg for food. Yeah. Or beg for money so you could buy food, beg for something. Yeah. I mean, even later on when, when Peter was at the gate, Peter and John were, were coming into the city. They said, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. He, he was talking to, they were talking to a man. So obviously this was a, a common occurrence that people would sit by the gate where people came in. Yeah. And they would beg for money and people would give money. Some said, this is he. Others said, no, he's like him. He said, I am he. Therefore, they said to him, how were your eyes open? So, can you imagine? I mean, this man... A lot man, of people would have known this person. Yeah, this man was sitting by the gate and from his birth. Now, I think more that they, they didn't believe that he was healed, that they believed that there's no way he was healed, so this must be somebody who looks like him. Right. You know, this, this, there must have been a twin for this dude. Yeah. So, they said, no, this is him. And then some said, no, this isn't him. It just looks like him. Right. You know, it, and but then he said, no, it is me. I sat by the gate begging. And he answered and said, a man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and I received sight. Mm -hmm. Then they said to him, where is he? Oh, ah, where is he? And then they said to him, where is he? <laughs> where is he? They're always looking for him, isn't he? And he I says, know. I don't know. I mean, he couldn't see. How would he know where yeah. he went? They heard him clumping off the, you know, in his sandals. They brought him who formerly was blind to the Pharisees. Uh, uh, nothing good comes out of them Pharisees. Nope. Now it was, the, it was a Sabbath when Jesus made the clay and uh, opened his eyes. Of course, uh, the Pharisees. It was Sabbath. Yep. Because they weren't supposed to work. They weren't, they weren't supposed, supposed to take to up anything. their mat. They weren't yeah. supposed to walk. Not nothing. Nope. I wonder what these Pharisees were doing. They were sitting. Sitting, yeah. Well, I mean, why didn't they argue with the people who brought them? They were walking. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess walking was, was allowed. He was carrying his bed. That was what they didn't like. Uh, the other guy. He was working. The one guy. Then the Pharisees also asked him again how he received his sight. And he said to them, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and I see. I think this at this point, the guy is like, like, I um, already told you. How many times do I tell you people? He, he put the clay on my eyes. I washed my eyes. He told me to wash clean. them. I washed them. And now I see. And now I can see. I am so happy. Yeah. They weren't happy. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God. Ah. He's not from God. He must be the devil. Because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, how can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. Really? Now, this is a division among the Pharisees. Wow. So, some of these hardcore, some of the hardcore Pharisees were saying, he's a sinner. He's the devil. Yeah. And some of the other ones were, wait, wait, wait a minute here. How can he do these miracles if, if he's, he's the devil? From if God. he's not from God, how can he do the miracles? Right. There was a division. Mm. There was, the ranks were breaking down. Yeah. Oh, man. They said to the blind man again, what do you say about him because he opened your eyes? He said, he is a prophet. Ah. He is a prophet. Well, back then, you know, prophets did a lot of good things. I mean, there wasn't a lot of prophets, but when there was prophets, they sometimes sometimes miracles happen. If you go back and look at the Old Testament prophets with Elijah and Elijah, and, mm. you know, even Jonah was a prophet. I mean, most people remember Jonah for being in the belly of the big fish. But why was he there? He was supposed to go to tell Nineveh. the people of Nineveh. That's right. Prophecy from God. So, you know, he said he was a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. So they didn't believe him. They didn't believe him. Well, and also, again, when I say the word Jews, in, in 
reading what that word Jews mean, I mean, they were all Jews. He was a Jew. His yeah. parents were a Jew. All the people, Jesus was a Jew. Jesus was a Jew. All the people who brought him to the Pharisees were Jews. So what does that mean, the Jews? That was the head Jews. Yeah. The boss. The Pharisees. The Pharisees, the head of them. And so it says that the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. See, I think these are the Jews that said that he was the devil. The side of the Jews that didn't like Jesus. So they basically said, nope, didn't happen. No. Yeah. Didn't happen. So they got his parents. Let's see what they said. They got the blind man's They got parents. the blind man's parents. Until they called the parents of him who had received his sight. Right. And they asked them, saying, is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? Now, this is like four times they're asking. Yeah. He was the, he was blind? Are you sure? Is this your son that was yeah. blind? How is it that he was born blind and now he sees? And the man just told him. Yeah. This Jesus guy, he told him, put clay on my eyes and told him to go wash. And now I see. Yeah. And he told that, what, three times? Yeah. Something like that. So um, his parents answered them and said, we know this is our son. And that he was born blind. Hmm. We know this is our son and he's born blind. Yeah. But by what means he now sees, we do not know. Or who opened his eyes, we do not know. <laughs> he is of age. Ask him. He will speak for himself. <laughs> so well, saying, we'll see here well, in the chapter. They, they, um, they knew that, that if they said Jesus was the Christ, that they would be excommunicated. And in their day, excommunication meant you don't go to heaven. Really? Because if you're excommunicated, when they offered the the um, the, the sacrifice. sacrificial lamb, the sacrifice, it wasn't for you. Oh. And so you can't perform the sacrifice. You're not the priest. The average person couldn't, even though Abraham did, even even though Noah performed a sacrifice, and he wasn't the priest. Right. That was before priests. That was before their day, and, you know, they didn't think that they had a right to... Well, God put in motion who was to give the sacrifice. So it was only the priest that gave the sacrifice. So if you were excommunicated, it means you're tossed out. Yeah. Then there's no sacrifice for you. So right. they were afraid. And it looks like we have another cliffhanger. Yep. Because we don't know what they're going to say. They, they're they talking to the parents. The parents are saying... We don't know. We don't want to be excommunicated. Talk to him. We don't want to be excommunicated. So and the boy's old enough to talk for himself. See what he has to say. But you know what? I don't think the boy cared who healed him. Right. I think this man. He just man, cared that he was healed. This man. I think if you were truly healed, I mean, if you were blind from birth, I don't think you'd care one way or another who it was or what day it was that it happened. Right. You would I just think be you would glad just be, that it happened. You would be grateful and you would be singing the praises of whoever it was and just happened to be <laughs> God the Son. Yeah. So anyway, this is the middle of the chapter. This is um, John chapter 9, verse 21. And we will continue this on next time with part two. Yep. So until next time. See ya. Have a blessed day.